Hey guys, I'm one of the two students working on this project to unify statistics and always data in a beautiful and easy to use solution. Here we can generate graphs at different levels of detail from the original data, add other data, and filter on some common variable and hopefully find some interesting correlations. To start it all off, we get hold of some data from Statistics Norway. In this case, I use statistics on sick leave in Norway. Then we download the data and finally open it in Excel. Before we can upload any of our data to ANSO, we need ANSO to understand how our data is organized. For this, we create an ontology. Looking at the data on sick leave, I can see that it is organized by municipalities, an age interval, a gender, and a year and quarter. And here is our actual data. In the ANSO plugin, we click Edit Ontologies. Here we can see some ontologies that are already in the system. This Geography Ontology, for instance, we will reuse in our new ontology. We start by making a new ontology. Then we create a class for our data. We start adding properties, first of which is Municipalities from our Geography Ontology. Then we have to create the rest of the properties. An age interval. The gender. A year and quarter. And finally the sick leave. Which is a double. Then we can save and close the editor. Uploading is a simple process. We select our data, tell ANSO what is what in our spreadsheet and ontology, and finally hit the upload button. The greatest strength of ANSO is visualizing the data. ANSO uses a web-based solution to navigate your data and draw graphs and create tables. I've previously uploaded some data for us to look at. We'll just add this to our linked data set. And then select what data we want to look at. I've decided on divorces and separations and employees on sick leave. Then we'll create a chart. Select column chart. Then start adding our data. We would like to have a look at our data on municipalities level. The value we would like to look at is employees on sick leave. And of course, we have to group this as well on municipality name. And aggregate the average. Now let's divide this by gender. Now we can see the two different genders. And if we add a legend, we'll be able to see which color is which. Red is male and blue is female. Now let's change the resolution from municipality to county. Here it's easy to see patterns, such as that sick leave for men is considerably lower than that for women in all counties. Now how about looking at this as a scatter graph compared to divorces? Not much of a correlation here, except that Sona Fjordana seems like a great place to live. And Westfall not so much. But just consider the possibilities of this tool. With all of Statistics Norway's data uploaded into this system, almost anybody can generate a chart on almost any topic. Newspapers can quickly get hold of accurate data. School children can look up a chart for a school assignment. Average Joe can find the best place to live with the highest kindergarten coverage. And if you're afraid your wife might leave you, we highly recommend you move to Sognafjordana. Cheers.